This video is going to show you how to make your own piping. We're using Sombrella Furniture Fabric. About an inch and a quarter is the best to go by uh, widthwise so that you have plenty to cover your cording and so on. Typically, the strips we cut are along the length of the fabric, not along the width as shown here. But since this is a stripe pattern, we need to do it along the width. Many of our customers ask whether fabric piping strips should be cut on the bias. Sayerite usually does not cut on the bias, but uses a straight cut along the fabric's edge. Cutting on the bias is very labor intensive, but looks smoother and works easier around sharp curves. In this application, we're using a striped pattern, and we have to have more length, so we're going to show you how to join them up. Okay, what we're, what we're doing here is lining up the stripes. We have the same stripes here because we're going to have to splice a piece of this well together. So what you want to do is just go ahead and find where the stripes line up at. And then you can take your half inch seam and take that brown stripe out. And we'll butt that green right up against that brown. We take it to the sewing machine and sew a straight stitch, reversing a few times to lock it in place. Okay, now we have those sewn together. Now, you don't really want to split that seam apart. I know you want the thickness probably out of there, but what you want to do is just cut part of it off. So you only have like a half inch. And then you want it all folded to one side. That will make it hide the best when you go to run it through. Once you have the particular length all joined together, we'll take it to the sewing machine. We'll insert the foam cord in the center, fold the strip over it, and then with a cording foot installed in this Sarah 111, we just sew along that cord edge. The Alterfeed LSZ1 and LS1 have the cording foot built in. No need to change the foot. Okay, when I'm making my welt here on the machine, I want to make it kind of loose so that when you're sewing it on, your stitch will go inside the stitch that you're making now. So you just kind of hold it off to the side this way a little bit. Here's a second way to join your umbrella strips together. This is a solid colored umbrella fabric. These strips were cut to one and a quarter inches as well. Go across this corner here, trim that off, and then it will be, it'll be sewn together as an angle. That way when you go around your piping, you don't have the thickness all in one spot and it's not going to bulk out. But you can just sew a half inch and do it straight. But as you can see, this is a little bit thicker and it's all going to be to one side. If you do it at the angle, then you're going to have some of the thickness here and the other here. Then take it to the sewing machine and sew a straight stitch from the upper corner to the under corner on the bottom side, as shown here in your video do a little bit of reversing to lock the stitch in place. That's all there is to it. Okay, get that tab off there. Now we'll simply take our piping and sew it in place. Piping in here. This piping can be purchased at Sailrite. It's very inexpensive. Okay. Sailrite also sells prefabricated yeah, piping. Colors are limited on the prefabricated piping, so you still may want to make your own piping. The piping we're sewing here will result in a tail that's approximately a half inch in width. When you're feeding this welting strip or piping strip into the sewing machine, try carefully to line up the edges so that the width of the tail is exactly the same all along its entire length. Just fold it in half right over there. Let's go back to the piping that was striped that we're going to use for an upholstered chair. In this application, we're reupholstering a chair. So we're going to work with the front arm of a chair and install this piping onto it. Here's a sneak peek of what the chair will look like. Now let's go back to our project. Most of our customers are using piping applications in cushions. This is a great example, however, because this arm of an upholstered chair has a very large curve, and the curves are sometimes the most difficult parts to sew piping onto. So watch how Deb does it here. And you can take and clip up to 
the stitches that you've taken. So we're going to be going around the curve, so you want to let that relax. As you can see in the video, Deb takes it nice and slow when she's going around this very sharp curve here for this arm. When she gets to the straightaway, she'll go nice and quick, reversing at the end. We should be able to sew this around, come down, and you're going to tack it to here and stop. And at that time, we'll be tightening up the welt, so we'll sew it as close as we can. That way, we'll tighten it up. Now that we've sewed the piping onto the front of the arm panel, we'll now sew that front Please arm panel easy. onto the side of the arm panel. This is exactly the same way that you would do a cushion, except for this is more difficult. Now, you want to make sure that you're sewing this tight along here. Keeping your edges together, you want a half inch seam. And you can kind of feel the foot falling against the welt cord. Pushing against it. Come around here. I just take little jotty steps because otherwise you could actually run right over top of that plastic cording in t inside. You're just wanting to tighten it. Now again, when you get down to this point, we want to just back tack it there. Stop it. Now we're going to turn it over. And there we have our arm. If for any reason you have stitches showing around the outside here and you want those to cover up, then you just flip it the opposite way that we had sewn it. We sewed it with this piece on top. If you flip it over, sew against this edge on the opposite side, that'll tighten it up even more just in case you don't get it tight as you like to begin with. I want to show you how beautiful this is when placed over the arm of the chair. Okay, now slide that on. We have our board here that's going to be tapped too. This will be pulled down inside. I'm Eric Grant at Sailrite. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, give us a call at Sailrite.